My name is Sophia Bergfist. I am the owner uh, of Quinta de la Rosa, which is a wine and port producer from northern Portugal on the Douro Valley. I'm very excited about coming to Opus for the port dinner. Um, I do quite a few wine and port dinners uh, throughout the year. And um, normally the dinner would consist of having both wine and port, because just having a port dinner people find is a little bit too much. Fortunately, Quinta de la Rosa, we make both wine and port. So normally we would start with, say, a white port or a white port and tonic. And the white port um, is, is in a port bottle. And we would blend it often with, with tonic, so it's well like a gin and tonic. And that's a very refreshing uh, aperitif. Or we would actually have the white wine as an aperitif, a white wine or a rosé that we make out of port grapes, but it's totally dry, just like a, a norm, normal Sauvignon Blanc. We would then move on to the red wines, and we do a variety of red wines, and um, I understand it's not exactly decided which red wines we're going to choose, because Opus very much relies on using up-to-date, um, fresh produce. And so the exciting thing is that I don't think until the last minute we're going to really know what, what wines we're going to have. But um, often I would show the Quinta de la Rosa Estate Red, uh, again made from pork grapes. It's a very versatile wine which goes with many different dishes from um, flavoursome red meats to chicken uh, or even it takes spicy food very well. Um, and maybe we're in for a treat with the reserve. Our reserve wines are uh, foot trodden, just like um, our port is, and uh, they're made from old vines, so there's a huge concentration of, of flavours. So it really depends on, we have plenty of different wines and ports available. It depends on what the final menu is. And of course, I don't want to forget about the port, so we have a variety of different ports from our late bottle vintage, which is bottled in this rather, uh, I think, rather exciting modern uh, bottle, it's a 50 CL bottle, which have had great success both in restaurants and uh, at retail level. Um, and we might be very lucky to have a vintage port, which is the top level of port. Um, and this is the 2000 that I'm, I'm looking at here, which is showing beautifully. So we would hope to finish the evening with a very nice uh, glass or two of different types of port.